Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumari here. In this tutorial, we'll see the difference between snowflake and the star schema. So here, there are some five to six uh, differences between them. So first one is the node redundancy and the redundant. As we saw, the snowflake schema was a normalized uh, schema. You can see it here, normalized form. It's a normalized form. We all know why do we do the normalization in order to reduce the redundancy, right? So whenever there is a no normalized form, that means it is less redundant. So that's what is mentioned over here. There is no redundancy in the snowflake schema. Coming to star schema, it is very much redundant because it is in the denormalized form. You can it has been mentioned over here. So that's why it's redundant. So as coming to snowflake schema, as we know, it is a normalized form. It has more number of queries. As I mentioned in the previous tutorial, so whenever you want to fetch some data, that time you need to you know uh, join these tables, but by multiple uh, subqueries and joins in order to fetch the data. Data, right? So the query becomes more complex when you use these subqueries, all those things. So that time we mention we can say more number of um, complex queries. But a star schema, it's just the reverse of it, as it is denormalized form. Only a single table will be present, and we there's no need of writing such big big queries to fetch the data and all. Just a normal query will be enough. Then the third point is where. Um, there are lots of foreign keys, hence the execution time will be more. Yes, because uh, you can see here, uh, as it is in the normalized uh, form, there are many keys that will be of the primary key will be a foreign key to the other table. So there are many foreign keys. Whenever we write a very such complex queries, the execution time will always be uh, you know too much. But uh, coming to the star schema, it it has a very quick execution as the queries itself will be very simple. Then same thing lots of joins will be there we know it's complex so it, lots of joins and here very simple queries so fewer joins will be there and uh, the fifth point here you can see the more number of dimensions for a single dimension that is nothing but in the snowflake schema you can see there are for a single dimension you can see multiple dimensions over here that has been splitted in order to reduce the redundancy so for one dimension there are multiple dimension that's what it's mentioned whereas for star schema only one dimension is present for a single dimension there's no multiple dimension concept over here so that is what is the difference between snowflake and star schema more number of dimension for a single dimension and here only one dimension is present and uh, the sixth point is very simple normalized and denormalized so this word is a basic uh, differences between snowflake and star schema so you guys whoever are attending interviews for these data warehousing uh, uh, jobs i guess these kind of small differences uh, might fetch you lots of weightage when you are saying all these things along with this simple diagram so i hope uh, this tutorial was useful and also um, there are many upcoming tutorials related to data warehousing and uh, other uh, informatica related scenarios just stay tuned and also uh, keep watching uh, my other tutorials too and uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, please do subscribe and like my video if there are any queries then please do mail me too and thank you very much